Ooh, what's going on guys? This is Jake of Upfast Games and this is The Walking Dead Part 1. Um, I know this is kind of an old, no well, not old game, but you know it came out last year and it might seem kind of odd for me to be bringing this out here, but uh, Season 2 for The Walking Dead game is coming out pretty soon and I didn't want to just start up that out of nowhere, so I figured I might as well kind of do this as a prerequisite. There's not really very much else to do for me at the moment considering that uh, I haven't, re I haven't been able to get any of the next gen consoles yet so um it's between this or the assassin's creed games and the call of duty game that i have uh and those other two games are having some really weird technical issues at the moment that i just can't seem to fix so i canceled both of those uh i'll get back to grand theft auto as soon as possible but i decided that this would probably be the best course of action for now uh, i've already kind of tested it out just to make sure so um yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, start up a new a new save file. We'll do standard. And we'll start it up here. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough? Followed your case a little bit, you being a Macon boy and all. You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for incoming 
Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I'll tell him he's got to stop, that that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Watch out! This other time... <laughs> Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. I need to drag myself out that window. Well then, holy shit. I think that, yeah, there's a shell over here I can take. Come on, take it. This first part, I'm not going to be able to talk very much, considering that's kind of introducing everything. But yeah, I, sh I should be talking a little bit more as the uh, series progresses. Shit. Uh oh. That's one thing that this game is notorious for, is it's kind of pedestrian optimization, uh, just in general, not just for PC, but like, all consoles and all that. It has a lot of frame rate gaps, or drops, I should say. Nothing too bad, though. Here comes some of the best music a game has ever produced. I love this music. This skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell 
is this? Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Hello? Anybody? Uh-oh. What's going on? This is weird. wonder what's happening. Wish I could go faster than this. That'd be nice. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Yep. Burglary is always a good alternative to just leaving. Help! So I was yelling out. I think there's something up here. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. She can talk to Treehouse. Anybody up there? Guess not. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. You drunk. I wonder if anybody's home. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Just coming in to burglarize your house. Don't shoot. Ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. So, uh, judging from what I've been reading about the next season for Walking Dead, it appears at uh oh, oh, it appears as though um, you're gonna be gonna uh, it's gonna be played as Clementine, Furniture which would be blood everywhere. Jesus, uh, which would be pretty interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm too happy about it. Not not the uh, or more so the aspect of playing a child. I don't think that I'm too like excited about doing that. But God. Otherwise, that it could be interesting. Clementine seems like one of those characters that could be a good supporting character, but as as a protagonist, I'm not so sure. This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? Ugh, cables out. Some of these things just seem kind of pointless. Like, what does 
that do? Like, ugh, cables out. That doesn't really drive any purpose. It's just like, almost, it's like video game filler. There are three new messages. Alright, I should probably go back there and listen to the messages first. crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? I already know they that, took but whatever. They a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. That's not good. Do Q Q. Oh, bummer. Oh shit. Miles to play this. Give me that fucking hammer. Take that, bitch. Yeah. Did you kill it? No. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. 
I think that might be a little while. You know? Yeah, because oh. they're dead. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Alright then. Let's go ahead and limp out to the neighborhood. Go faster, Lee. Just a little bit faster. Uh, uh, oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Come on. What do I have to click the thing? Okay, go. Go. Yeah, little girl, you're really helping. What are those guys? Neighbors, too? Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. 
Your boy's a lifesaver. Well, he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Looks nothing like Herschel. <sighs> How'd this happen? Just like to say. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. <sighs> I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. 
That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Fuck you, Duck. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Alright then. Uh, this seems like a good point to cut it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and close out the video here. So, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe and you all that. And I will see hair. you guys next time. Tangles.